Hey everyone, this is Ty, and I'm back with another instructional video, this time showing you how to set up your FXP control. Start by powering on the FX, noticing the arming sequence. If the LEDs 1, 2, and 3 are flashing, your radio's neutral signal is too low. If 4, 5, and 6 are flashing, you guessed it, it's too high. To perform a radio calibrate, press and hold the mode button for roughly 3 to 4 seconds. Now the FX is ready to calibrate to your radio. First it will look for neutral, then full throttle, where you will pull full throttle on your trigger, and lastly full brake, where you will hit full brake, or reverse. Six LEDs flashing will indicate the FX is operating at full throttle, full brake, or reverse. Now I'll show you my car on the track running a 19 turn brushed motor to get an idea of how far it will coast with no drag brake set. The gray line on the straightaway indicates where I will let off throttle and allow the car to coast. Now I'm going to set my drag brake to roughly 50%. To do this, press mode once and you're in program mode. The first LED will be flashing. This is the drag brake setting. Pressing increment once will enter the drag brake setting. Pressing it seven more times sets about 50% power or until the fourth LED is lit. Here's my car again on our test straightaway. Notice how much more quickly the car comes to a stop after letting off throttle. Now I'll show you how to set a LiPo voltage cutoff to protect your LiPos from over discharging. Press mode once to get the FX into program mode and again five more times. Now we can adjust the voltage cutoff level. One LED means there is no cutoff. Two is six volt cutoff. Three is a nine volt cutoff. And four is a custom profile that is only programmable through our Hotwire PC interface. Changing throttle profiles can be a big help and really depends on your driving style. The factory setting on your FX is fairly linear, so I'll show you an extreme profile first. Notice how quickly the throttle acts with only a small trigger movement. The factory profile has a much softer feel to it. Notice the trigger movement and motor sound compared to the previous profile. Last thing we're going to do is a factory reset. This will reset your FX to all factory defaults, which are located in your manual. Press and hold both buttons for about 3 to 4 seconds. The FX will clear its memory and restore all factory defaults. Programming options are almost endless and even more expanded with our Hotwire PC interface. Have fun and get programmed.